Two city of Cincinnati employees have now testified against a well-known tri-state businessman, Doug Evans. He's accused of using a front company with, to win minority and small business contracts worth millions of dollars. Nine on your side investigative reporter Paula Christian explains why their testimony is so important. The trial is in its third week here at the federal courthouse where city of Cincinnati employees are on the witness stand. Two city employees testified that they saw red flags and got complaints about Evans landscaping on demolition jobs that were supposed to be controlled by Ergon. Prosecutors say Doug Evans set up a separate company, Ergon, in order to win city and state contracts meant for minority and small businesses. Because cameras aren't allowed in federal court, my colleague Kevin Necessary drew illustrations. The testimony of city employees is key to this case. Complaints led the city to conduct several audits before meeting with Ergon owner Corey Jordan. But Ergon went on to win 140 jobs to demolish buildings, contracts worth more than $2 million. Al Taylor, an assistant supervisor in the city's buildings and inspections office, said he complained about the expensive Evans equipment on Ergon job sites. There were million dollar trucks on job sites, so yeah, I had some questions about how someone financed that as a small business enterprise. But defense attorney Ben Dusing said the city knew Evans was a subcontractor on Ergon jobs and even called Evans directly to fix mistakes on those jobs. Federal prosecutors say the relationship between Ergon and Evans landscaping was illegal, but the defense team may raise the question to jurors, if it was illegal, then why did the city of Cincinnati do nothing to stop it? Trial is in its third week and is expected to last at least another week. Evans is on trial with his vice president of operations, Jim Bailey. Both face six charges related to wire fraud and as much as 103 years in prison if convicted. Paula Christian, 9 on your side.